You could have the best single turbo in the world and it still doesn't compare to compounds. The reason for this is because with turbochargers, you have two turbos working in sequence, a small one and a large one. This turbo takes in air and compresses it. Then it turbocharges the second turbo, which then takes that already compressed air, compresses it further, and then turbocharges the engine. So with compounds, these two turbos are not just adding air onto each other. They're actually multiplying the amount of air that goes into the engine. Two turbos in a compound setup will give you about four times as much air as a stock turbo alone. Compressing that much more air into the cylinder of the engine does a lot of good things for your truck. It lowers EGT significantly. It increases fuel mileage. It gives you more horsepower and torque. If you think about your RPM band, a small single turbo, it will cover the low end, meaning you'll have quick spool up. A mid-range turbo or mid-range size turbo will cover the mid-range, meaning your spool up will be a little slower, but your top end won't be good, but the mid-range will be great. A large turbo is gonna spool up really, really slow, but the top end, it's gonna have a lot of air. Compounds cover the full RPM band, meaning you have a small turbo that takes from the low end to the mid range, and that large turbo helps go from the mid range all the way to the top end. You have air throughout the whole RPM band. And this is why a single turbo can never outperform a compound setup.